Hello everyone, this is Micro P11 and uh, in this video I will demonstrate how to use the, um, the latest version of the CyTLC SDR Sharp plugin with the uh, latest version of the AirSpy SDR Sharp uh, that has a new feature that is called um, Spectrum Slicer. And um, we'll see what this feature um, allows us to do. And um, I have here the uh, SDR Sharp ra radio running. I'm going to turn it off. And then this is the installation folder where the SDR Sharp exists right now on my system. And then I have here the plugin um, in a zip file. And um, the plugin consists of four files and a directory. Um, you have the magic line, which for those of you familiar with um, how the SDR Sharp plugins work, you will have to take uh, the content of this file, which is this line, and then you will have to copy it into the plugins XML file in order to make the SDR Sharp aware of the of the plugin so and then for the plugin to work you'll just have to copy the content of this um, archive um, to your SDR sharp installation folder and um, it is a, a clean installation you only have the four files and a new folder that contains all the nitty-gritty behind this um, in Marsat C plugin. And uh, what is new uh, in this version of the plugin is that I have added the quick UI, uh, which was in the past, uh, even actually even for the versions that are now available on Bitbucket. But anyway, um, I will now start the SDR Sharp um, radio. And then um, we'll see how it looks. Uh, the plugin now shows up in the interface. Um, it doesn't have a, a skin. Um, it is just um, raw the way it was in the past. I'm going to pin it to the interface. So I'll have it um, here. And uh, you can see the quick UI button now. And then if you press this button, um, the quick UI currently has been installed. But if it's not installed, it will be downloaded from the Bitbucket uh, website. And it's going to be installed onto on your computer. Basically, it's just a, a zip that gets extracted into um, this file, into this folder, Cytel UI. This is what you're going to get installed if you don't have it installed already. But uh, if you do have it installed already, the quick UI will open it. And it's not running yet. Um, we can press the start button. Maybe we'll change that in the future. Uh, I do not know. But right now, this one is ready to accept um, frames coming from the actual decoder. And then for how this thing works, uh, how these applications are working together. You can watch the other videos in the series on CyTLC. And uh, there's a lot of in-depth explanation uh, for that there. Um, one more thing to add here with this quick UI button, if the interface is in the background, you click at the button, it will just be brought in the front. So it will be easy to, um, it will be easy for you to find it. So let's uh, see how this works. We're going to start the radio. And currently, my radio is um, tuned on the um, AOR East satellite. Uh, I'm in Canada, Eastern Canada. And then um, this is the NCS um, station for this satellite. And the frequency is 1541. Um, 0.4 megahertz and or gigahertz and um, there are a bunch of other channels 
here a bit to the left. Let's zoom in a bit. And uh, yeah, these ones are the LAS stations. Again, for the terminology, you can refer to the other videos or you can just um, do a searches on the internet. So we have one, two, three, four, five lasses and we have the uh, NCS uh, here. So let's start by decoding the NCS. We don't have to be quite on it because the uh, the plugin has an auto tracking feature that will tune. Um, you can see it changes the frequency. It will tune up onto this uh, signal, and then uh, it will start receiving frames. And as it receives frames, if I press the quick UI quick UI button, um, we'll see that as soon as the frames being are being received, and there you go, um, NCS 44. 1089 um, started to receive a message and um, this indicates that we missed part of the beginning and we missed part of the end. This we're not going to see anymore but probably this will come with the next frame. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so now we are receiving one channel and um, now we're going to go into the fun stuff which is using the spectrum slicer of the latest version of the SDR Sharp. So for that, we're going to press the plus button and then uh, a new window will show up. Let's just wait a little bit. And there you go. And then you see that it, memori it memorized the last uh, frequency that was opened. Uh, so now we're going to go to the, it was 15339 something. So let's say 4595. Oh, there you go. There you go. This is uh, the LAS channel 1539. So we're going to go, we're going to select that channel uh, and then we're going to, we are in a different window now. So we're going to enable the plugin for this window. And then um, now we're decoding two channels at the same time. We press on the quick UI and then let's see what happens when the, a new packet gets uh, decoded. And here you have it. Uh, now we're decoding two channels at the same time. So now you can imagine what we're going to do next. Uh, we're just going to add, let's add one more to the list. So I went to the original um, screen of the radio and I pressed the plus button and then here we have received uh, a new window and then this one is set for the last frequency we, we selected. So to the right of this there will be the other uh, four channels. And there you go, this is another one. And then there would be probably another one here and then another one here and yeah let's let's pick this one I mean who cares for, for us it doesn't really matter so let's pick this one and then um, now we are decoding another channel so now we're decoding um, one two and three channels at the same time we call the quick UI it doesn't really matter which button you press on where and then as you see um, now we are receiving three channels at the same time and then the stations are as indicated here. Um, the messages are coming as they are coming. Sometimes you'll have to wait a long time um, and in the previous videos I have explained why. But um, yeah, pretty much this is all I wanted to show um, here. Yeah, one there is one more thing that it is worth actually discussing. Uh, let's look at the um, computing uh, resources here. Um, so we have the SDR Sharp um, running right now at 33, 34, let's say 35% uh, capacity of my computer. And then you can make this number go lower to um, make some more resources available for computation 
by turning off the spectrums of the slices where you don't need them. So in our case, I don't really need the spectrums on, um, let's say, these two slices. So I can just go onto the um, display tab and then turn the spectrum off. So I say none. And then uh, the decoding will continue, of course. Um, the frequency, it's still tuned on. Um, and then we're going to turn this one off. None. And then um, maybe we have saved some computing power that is visible. Um, maybe not so much. But you can imagine that if you would have, let's say, eight channels that you decode at the same time, um, by turning off the spectrum, you will actually save um, a bunch. And uh, yeah, this is it. A great big thanks thanks goes to uh, the folks at uh, AirSpy as the R Sharp uh, for these for this new feature, the slicer. I think this is brilliant. And then this will I don't even know actually how far the applications could go, but um, yeah, um, this is an amazing feature, an amazing new feature. Um, thank you, and thank you for watching. Um, goodbye, everyone.